All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your phone calls at one eight seven seven Newsmax, and uh, let's go first out to uh, Visalia, California, and welcome in Sharon. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Steve. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for participating. Well, I have. Uh, first, I'll start off with Kasich. I yeah. saw him on the Neil Cavito show a couple of days ago, and he made a statement that he had friends in the uh, rule committee. What's that about? I, d I don't know. I mean, you know, I just I, I just celebrated Passover, or as he would put it, the Passover. Uh, so I, I I've given up on John Kasich. I I I haven't been a fan of John Kasich uh, ever since he said about the uh, Supreme Court decision on gay marriage. Get over it. So you know that tells you a lot. And um, I don't know. Hey, believe me, the, his fr his friends on the rule committee couldn't get him I the nomination if he had uh, every friend on the rules committee. Believe me. That's right. He is, he's, he's out of it anyway. And this Cruz and him sticking together against Trump is ridiculous. I think Cruz is using, is getting rid of Kasich by sending him to Oregon and New Mexico because he has been running behind in the, in the polls behind Kasich. Yeah, but then Kasich says, I'm not telling anybody in Indiana not to vote for me, which, which flies uh -huh. in the face of the whole, the whole thing that uh, supposedly Cruz said uh, they were doing. So I don't know what's going on here. It's, it, it's not going to matter, and I think it's just going to backfire on them and help uh, drive public support towards uh, Donald Trump. People don't like to be played as pawns and used as guinea pigs and, and part of a scheme that they, they don't want to participate in. I don't think it's going to work. I don't either. It's ridiculous. Yep. But if they think we're going to back off from Trump, they're crazy. They're only going to make more people vote for him because we're sick and tired of politicians, and they are two perfect examples. Well, Sharon, I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And as I said earlier, folks, uh, you know, the outsider candidate Ted Cruz, now supported by Lindsey Graham, Jeb Bush, in a sense, John Kasich. How, you know, how, outside? Outside what? Uh, let's go now to uh, Lewis from St. Marie, Montana. Hello, Lewis. Yes, yes, Steve. Uh the woman and you are 100 percent right. It will backfire on them big time. And but but the point is this: no matter which one of those three is elected, I mean, it's nominated, and if they win the election, it'd be a lot better than Bickett, Witch in Midwest, Hillary Clinton. Well, yeah, that, that's got to be the point, uh, absolutely, uh, Lewis. Whether it's uh, one of these three or someone else that we're not going to like, I don't care. Because you right. know, when I hear when I hear uh, Coke say, uh, you know, maybe maybe I could vote for Hillary, and when I hear other people say, and, and I hear Bill Crystal say a third party candidate should run, you can't allow Hillary in, or the country is done as we know it. By the way, I got a suggestion for Trump if he wins the nomination. Go ahead. When he becomes president of the United States, there are three people I want him to nominate for Supreme Court justice. Quick, Judge. On, Judge Anya Napolitano, yeah. Judge Judy, ha. and Judge Jeanine Pirro. I knew she'd be the third. All right, Lewis, that, that would be a hell of a lineup. Thank you very much. Let's go out to Iowa and welcome in Tim from Roland. Hello, Tim. Hi, Steve. I enjoy your show a lot. I've been on your show several times. Thank you. I enjoy, I enjoy talking with you. Thank you, sir. And I've got, I've got a couple quick points here. Uh, the first one is, is, is this is not rocket scientists or rocket science why we like Donald Trump. It's plain and simple. It's as plain as black and white. He's not a politician. He's not controlled by anybody. They just don't get it. Kasich and Cruz and the, the political pundits and the commentators don't get it. It's, it's nothing complicated. We just don't like what the, the road the politicians have taken us down from no, to you're right. here the last uh, 30, yep. 40 years. Yep. And another, yep. another point is, uh, on especially with uh, Kasich and, and a little bit on Cruz, geographically, what have they... I mean, they keep saying Donald's never won 35 percent or never topped out 37 percent. Right, right. Well, well, well Trump, has, na Trump has named Kasich one, one for 41. <laughs> exactly. One I mean, state out of 41. Math, yeah. Where's the math at that supports their candidacy right now? They're mathematically both eliminated. Right. And if Kasich thinks he's going to go into that convention and an open convention, he better think again. He better Tim, start. I, I think he's banking I, on I thank president. you for your call, sir. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, remember, tune in tomorrow night for America Votes 2016 with special live primary coverage right here on Newsmax TV starting at 7 p.m. We're coming back.